Hey guys, Kid Gear here, and today I'm going to show you how to get your music off your iPod into iTunes or anything like that. So, uh, this is really useful in a couple ways, and I'm going to show you uh, the. It's pretty much the manual way. There's software that does it, but it costs money. There's great software. I think there's some free software, um, particularly for Windows, and I'm pretty sure this will work for a Mac too. So, now this can come in handy. Now, let's say all your music is on your iPod and your computer crashes, then obviously, you know. Uh, when you get new iTunes, all your music, you can access your bought, you know, the music you bought, uh, but let's say you got the music from somewhere else, like Amazon, or anywhere like that, and you can't, you know, it's not on iTunes anymore, you can't, you know, get it from your iTunes account. Um, well, this is a really great way to, uh, use that, and if you've downloaded music too to your iPod, this, you know, comes in handy too. So, um, not only that, if you also, what I did is, see, I have, uh, this is my sister's old iPod, the iPod Nano 2, uh, second generation, and... Um, I had she had a lot of music on there that came from her computer, and I wanted to transfer it to my iPod. So, um, what I did is I found this cool method uh, to try to uh, to help you guys out. So, thought I should pass a tip along. So, first off, plug both your iPods in, or if you're if you're gonna transfer, you know, the music, or if you just want to, you know, pretty much put it all in your library. Here's what you do. So, you're gonna go into my computer and make sure again it's plugged in, because you're gonna access your iPod from the my computer. Um, you know. As it, as it shows as a drive, so okay. Open up my computer here. I'm gonna, sorry, I let the shirt say I have a couple of things plugged in actually. Okay, so this you I have a couple of iPods here, so I want this one right here, the P one. And I'm gonna open this up, and I'm gonna go into iPod Control Fold, the iPod Control Folder. You may not see it because it may be hidden, so make sure you go into Tools, Folder Options, and then View, and then you might want to go Show Hidden Folders and Files, or else you won't see it. Uh, go to iPod Control. Then you're gonna want to go into music. So again, make sure you have that hidden folder enabled, or else you won't see the folders there. And now these are all songs that your uh, they've been uh, all your songs that haven't been purchased or anything like that from iTunes are in these folders. So well, not I'm not sure. If, I'm pretty sure all of them are. So uh, you may be missing a couple. But the thing is, all of them will have a weird name like this or you know something like that. And actually, I'm on the wrong iPod. So my bad. Sorry. Let me go to the right iPod. It's the E drive. So go to your right iPod. Right iPod. Now, if you manually just want to select songs, it may have like the album name, may have the song name, but I mean the uh, artists. But usually it won't. It have the like, the actual song itself. Like it'll just be like random letters and numbers. So what you have to do is, um, so again it'll be like F O O, F O one, F O two. See, here's a huge list, and you can sort it by artist if you if the artists are there. So that helped a little bit for me. But uh, another thing you can do is. You can hit back, and then what you can do is you go into iTunes, you go into File, and you go Add uh, Folder to Library, and then what you're going to do is you're going to navigate to that section, so you're going to go to, let's go to right here, and then go to Music, and then basically you're just going to hit OK, and it's going to import all of that music into your iTunes library, and I have a couple here, I just don't want to dump it all, so that will help you out and then from there you can manually drag it to whatever iPod you want it to go to so yeah guys that's just a quick tip for iTunes hope that helps you out hope that gets your songs off your iPod uh, just every case you're wondering or you know it comes to a situation where your PC crash who knows anyways guys hope you enjoyed uh, thanks for watching don't forget to check the site at adrianstech.com email us at adrianstech at gmail.com thanks for listening